Today's topic is types of culture media. Culture media are required for isolation of bacteria from clinical specimens and it is used for performing biochemical tests to identify the causative agent. There are seven types of culture medias that are used in laboratory. We are going to discuss about the first one which is simple or basal media. Normally simple, be uh, simple media is used for support of non-fastidious bacteria like staph or streptococcus. Non-fastidious non bacteria do not require any special ingredient for the growth. Examples are peptone water in which peptone, sodium chloride and water is used. In nutrient growth as it requires, uh, as its main function is to provide nutrition uh, to the bacteria, meat extract is added. And in nutrient agar, it is a solid agar, that's why 2% of agar is added. And in semi-solid media, the concentration of agar is reduced to 02 to 0.5%. And some, some of the uses of basal media are for biochemical tests and to study bacterial growth curve. Now moving on to enriched medium. In this, additional nutrients are added to the basal medium. And it is used for the growth of fastidious as well as non-fastidious bacteria. The first type of enriched media that we are going to discuss about is blood, blood agar. In this, 5 to 10 percent of sheep blood is added. Now, blood agar is mainly used for testing the hemolytic activity of the, of the bacteria. The first type of hemolysis noted is partial hemolysis in which greenish discoloration is seen around the colonies. And the second type of hemolysis noted is beta hemolysis in which complete hemolysis is seen around the colonies, so a zone of clearance is noted. And in gamma hemolysis, no hemolysis is present. And in chocolate agar, heated blood agar is used, in which hemin is released from the lysed RBCs. And it is used for the culture of hemophilus influenzae. Low flow serum slope is used for the isolation of Corynebacterium diphtherium. And blood heart infusion broth is used in blood culture media. Now moving on to enrichment broth and selective media. In both, inhibitory agents are added to allow growth of certain organisms and inhibit others like normal flora. The inhibitory agents added are antibiotics like vancomycin and statin. The only difference between enrichment broth and selective media is in state. In enrichment media, liquid media is used, whereas in selective media, solid media is used by solidifying it by adding agar. The examples of enrichment broth is tetrathionate broth for culture of salmonella typhi gram negative broth for culture of shigella and alkaline peptone water for vibrio cholera selenite f broth for shigella and examples for selective media are uh, lowenstein jensen medium for uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis dca and xld for uh, salmonella shigella tcbs for vibrio cholera wilson blame bismuth sulfide medium for sul salmonella typhi now moving on to differential media it is used for differentiating between two groups of bacteria and an indicator is used to color the colonies of a particular group of the bacteria. McConkey agar is one of the examples of a differential media. The composition is peptone, lactose, neutral red and torocolate. It is mainly used for isolation of enteric gram-negative bacteria. The lactose fermenting colonies appear pink in color whereas non-lactose fermenting colonies appear colorless in color. And the next example is cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar which is an alternative to combination of blood agar and McConkey agar. And its advantage over blood agar is that it easily prevents the swarming of proteus. Now moving on to anaerobic media. In this certain substances are used to create a lower redox potential which is, which is used for the growth of anaerobes like Clostridium. One of the examples of anaerobic media is Robertson cooked meat media which is the most widely used anaerobic media. In this meat particles are used which contain glutathione which is a reducing substance and unsaturated fatty acids are present in the meat particles. The other examples are thioglycolate broth and bile esculin agar for the isolation of bacteroids. Now the last media that we are going to talk about is transport media. It is used when delay is expected during the transport of the specimen to the laboratory and the bacteria do not multiply in transport media but they only remain viable. And the examples are Pike's medium for growth of for transport of streptococcus, Swartz medium for Nisaria, and Carry and Blair medium for Shigella, Salmonella, Vibrio cholera. I am Bavita, Medico in India. Please share and subscribe Corazon.